unit on force, we have seen many different energy systems in action. They all have something in common. Each system has a prime mover and something being moved from one place to another. In mechanical systems, force is the prime mover that moves objects around. In fluid systems, pressure acts like force to move liquids and gases through tubes. Electricity is moved through circuits by voltage in electrical systems. And heat is moved from warm areas to cold by temperature difference in thermal systems. Force, pressure, voltage, and temperature difference are all prime movers, while the object, the fluid, the charge, and the heat are the things that are being moved. Since all these prime movers move things from place to place, they all are or act like force. Listen again to the technicians. Even though they all work in different systems, they all talk about a push or a pull. As an electrician who maintains the equipment on the crane, I have to understand force and the pulling of the force so I can set up the parameters to limit the amount of pull that the crane can exert. In the fluid system. It's very important for me in my job to understand how pressure moves liquid as a force to a lower pressure. It's, it's like an electrician would have to know how voltage moves a charge. And if we don't know that, I cannot properly do my job because pressure differential has is probably the main ingredient in us producing our product. And if we don't understand that very well, it, it causes a lot of problems. In the electrical system. In my job as a technician, it is very important that I understand the properties of voltage pushing current or electrical charge through a circuit. In this example that we have just seen, it is evident that I would not have been able to fix the circuit without knowing these properties. And in the thermal system. What we've done is pull the heat from this piece of fish. The reason that works is because of the large temperature difference. I have to know about how temperature difference moves heat in order to maintain this machine. Each system had more than one prime mover in action at the same time. So the technicians had to identify where each prime mover was acting, add those that act in the same direction, subtract those that oppose, and find the total. In the mechanical system, the total is net force. In the fluid system, it's total pressure. Electrical systems have total voltage, and thermal systems use temperature difference. Technology is not getting any simpler. Even the everyday car has become an incredible arrangement of different systems. There's the mechanical moving parts, there's fluids being pushed around by pressure, voltage is pushing electricity through circuits and even computers and heat is being taken away from the engine by temperature control. It can all seem quite confusing. But complicated technology can become a little easier to unravel and therefore easier to work with if you understand force and how it causes things to move. Or not move. <laughs> But remember, when you do isolate one of the systems and solve a problem in it, there may still be another problem in another system down the road. This program was produced at the facilities of Telemation Productions and is part of Principles of Technology, a project of state and provincial vocational and technical education agencies in association with the Agency for Instructional Technology and the Center for Occupational Research and Development, together serving education.